Today we'll be changing out the radio. This is a 2001 Mazda B3000. This will be the same as your Ford Ranger. And what happened is my radio here is shorted. And I found that out by disconnecting the negative side of the battery, connecting a ohm meter, and pulling fuses until the voltage went down to zero. It was drawing 0.01 volts and in two days my battery would die. So here's why. Let me get this clock off and see if I can peel this back. Put a clock here so that I can see what time it was. But the previous owner speared it with something. I don't know what, but it happened to spear it and that caused a short. So now we're gonna go take it off and replace it with this. I got I decided to go cassette so that I could put my own music with my phone or my iPod or whatever. You know, I just put the cassette with the the wire that comes out and you could play your own tunes and instead of a disc where you have to have only like 17 songs on a disc. Now I have my whole iPod collection. Anyway, so that's what we're going to go do next. First step is going to be getting this whole bezel off take the bezel off. There's actually two bolts at the bottom. There's one right above air conditioner stuff. There's the other. And then up here there are two clips that you'll pop out using a screwdriver. You want to be very careful not to damage the interior when you're doing that. So first one we'll do is get these bolts off here. This is a seven millimeter ratchet. Next, we're going to use a screwdriver to gently pry the bezel off. I'm using a paper towel so that I don't damage the interior. So just pull the bezel with your fingers. Get your screwdriver in there. Again, be careful. It's not something you want to break. It's one side. You can actually feel it pop. that out just like that take the rate the uh, air conditioning vents off get some more space I'm gonna just pull this out a little bit more and I'll give you guys a view of what it looks like from the side so we're actually going to disconnect this and this so that we can pull it out even more and get to our radio. This just pulls out very easily and then the radio will lean down like that and now we can start working on this. Just like pretty simple that. now. There's a clip, I don't know, you're not going to be able to see it, but you just push your finger in here, you can feel it, it's like an indent, you push your finger in there and it actually moves inwards and then you just pull out just like that now I can show you right there you just push on this clip right here and that comes out really easily just like that and then we're gonna take off this this just pulls out you can, like, twist it and pull it It'd be easier if I put it on the tripod and now everything from the radio has been disconnected so the radio is now completely disconnected now we just need to get it off the bezel and there's actually a tool that fits in to these holes I'll show you the holes on this radio here see these holes there's a tool that fits in there and it like pops this up so that you could you know it is it pops that up so that you could just snap it out I don't have that tool and there's no point of buying it when you could just do this and then use a small screwdriver so I'll show you Right in here, we're gonna pull, or actually push. You can see this right here. It's kinda hard to do with one hand, but this bottom part pushes in. Okay, so I'm pushing my thumb on there, and the radio is actually gonna come out towards us. 
might even help to use a screwdriver like that. So now you can see, I actually, let's see if it focuses. There we go. Right in there, you can see the white. That's where I used the screwdriver to push. Now those clips are pushed in. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to try to do it on camera so you guys can see. But take the screwdriver right here and push towards. Yeah, this is hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to have to do two hands. But you just push towards that. Let's push this in. There we go. There's one side. There's the other. Okay, now the radio is ready to get pushed out towards us. Just like that. Okay. So that's complete radio out. Look at that. So now the radio just slides out. Just, just like this. Comes right out. We have the new or refurbished radio, my new radio, and all you do, slide it right in just like that until it clicks. Just pull it right in. There's, in. there's one side, there's the other side, and the radio is in. Now we just connect the wiring in the back, and we're ready to go. So, I'll let you guys see the wiring. Just in case any of you are freaked out, it's just one wire, nice and simple. Goes right in, same way it came out. Clicks right in, then we take this. Right here. Press it in. That's for your antenna. Make sure you press it in all the way so you get good reception. That's in all the way. Okay. And we want to make sure we reconnect this to our cig or to our yeah, that's a not a cigarette lighter, it's a 12 volt. So that's just easy push. Push that right in. So as we push this in, we want to make sure this white piece back here gets pushed back against it'll like kind of snap in there against there this piece will lie against that so no vibration and we also don't want to forget about our vent here there we go so that's snapped in you heard them all click they're very easy to just align and then you just align this in push it Everything snaps into place, and now you just go and tighten up your, your bolts. Very simple. And you just changed out your radio, something that would cost a few hundred bucks for a mechanic to do, or you would never even get done. You know, radio is not essential, so you'd just be like, oh, I'll leave a broken radio. Now you can do it. So just tighten it so it's snug. No need to go crazy. I'm not even using the ratchet. I'm just using my extension. And put the screws right in. And then we'll uh, fire her up and let's see what she's got. So now it's the moment of truth. Keys. In. Run position. Oh, that's a good sign. Look at that. It's a very good sign. Okay. were called to be to serve the we got it radio works now I'm gonna check all the buttons okay so the radio works I'm gonna set everything up and that is how you replace the radio job well done